LeaScript, in contrast to all authoring systems, is not a tool. It is a language based on Markdown, designed to be easy to learn and to enable everyone to create and share high-quality educational content or at least participate in this process. I am sorry to disappoint you, but we all screwed up. Although the internet was created to share information freely, education is becoming more and more a business. It's not only the increase of textbook prices. It is the growing number of private universities or schools, expensive MOOCs. The main problem is that most of us are simply cut off from the process of creating content. Of course, you can use YouTube if you like your voice and have basic video cutting skills. But a video is not interactive or easy to change. You can program your interactive courses, but this is even more challenging and time-consuming. Or there is this thing called learning management system, that in most cases also have a high learning curve and require you to be always online. Thus, in most cases, people get stuck to simple text formats and share PDFs, Word documents, or PowerPoints. Imagine we could use simple text documents and create YouTube-like screencast presentations. Interactive and freely programmable experience with common features from LMS. On the next slide, I recorded a simple script development process. On the left, you will see the text format, course content, and on the right, the generated output that is updated every time when I hit save. Simply use hashtags to divide your document into sections, subsection, sub-subsections, and so on. This is our schedule for today. You will learn how to create content. Define animations, quizzes, include multimedia content, live coding, and other fancy stuff. You can simply start typing. Paragraphs are text blocks separated by new lines. List ordered and ordered. You can have tables, and more. What LeaScript adds is, for example, the possibility to use ASCII art not only to draw diagrams, Most PowerPoint presentations are like showing a bullet point while someone explains something about it. Well, in Leah's script, you only have to add double braces with a number to indicate when something should appear or disappear, add two minuses around it, and the content gets spoken out loud. How would you define a quiz only with a typewriter? Quizzes in LeaScript are always associated with brackets. You can implement a multiple choice quiz with this checkbox like notation, where the X marks the element to be checked. A single choice quiz is simply a radio button like representation with parentheses. You can add as many lines, even hints, or more detailed explanations. And there are much more quizzes available. These are four different links. In Markdown, you add brackets in front of it and put the link into parentheses to get a named link. If you add an exclamation mark in front of it, you indicate that it is an image. That is Markdown. In Leah's script, you can add a question mark to indicate that it is sound. In this case, a sound cloud link. And if you combine an image with sound, you define a video. Three back ticks are the Markdown syntax to indicate source code. In Lia script, you can add a title to it and a script tag on you get executable code that is editable with its own linear versioning system. You may have noticed the script tab that defines how code is executed. LeaScript has its own macro system that allows to hide and reuse JavaScript, CSS, HTML. Even more than that, courses can import this functionality from other courses. Like in the example, only one command is required to load a medical data set and visualize it. You only have to upload your text file somewhere. 
preferably on GitHub, and then pass the link to the LIA script website. The course will be immediately loaded and you will get a unique URL that you can share with others. A JavaScript application is responsible for loading the course and interpreting it. No login, no setup, everything happens within the browser and all states are stored locally. The next step is to implement a PWA, a website that can be installed on smartphones and tablets, which can be used offline as well as the courses, which only have to be loaded once. What is currently missing is the possibility for shared classrooms, chats, and more, where teachers see the results of quizzes and surveys and can interact freely with students in their group. Paragraphs are simple text blocks separated by a line breaks. Paragraphs are simple text blocks separated by a line breaks.